So my scuba instructor just reached out to me, but I am like so beyond excited right now. She seems like she's gonna be pretty cool. So, this is exciting. I've been wanting to fully get certified to go scuba diving since like high school. And now I finally have the time to, so I am beyond excited. My mind is literally racing like a thousand miles an hour right now. I can't even focus like packing. Okay, okay, okay. The next morning. So we finally made it to the Seattle airport. It is one o'clock in Seattle. I've already been here for a couple hours. I had to find something to, to eat. There's a really cool lady I was talking to during the flight. The woman like traveled everywhere and it was so nice because we're in the bag and she had the aisle seat and I had the window seat and then nobody was in between us. Like every seat on the flight was taken except that seat between us and we like fist bumped. We we're like, hey, no one's sitting here. We get to like spray up. It was just nice. Flight one down. Time for the next one. A little bit. One eternity later. We're on the top floor. Yeah. Okay, guys. So I just arrived in my room and I had to take a taxi over. I could have chosen to do an Uber, but then I would have had to wait. And the taxi was a little bit more expensive. It was like about $51, whereas most of the Ubers coming out of Honolulu airport was about 40 to about $50 anyway. So since the taxis were there and it was convenient, I decided to just take a taxi. But you guys need to see this room. So I am at the Hotel La Croix. I'm saying it with a French accent because my French brain just goes there. So I'm on the 17th floor here and this place is awesome. So let me go ahead and take you like on a room tour. So we walk in right into here, not much. And then you turn the corner and boom, you have the bathroom here with like this rolling closet right in through here. It also is basically the door to the bathroom. And then this window here has um, some blinds right in through here that you take down. Mainly because right across the way we have our first terrace right there. Beautiful. And then we keep walking this way. We have this massive bed, some ambiance going on with the TV as you walk in. And then we have our second terrace out here with a perfect view of Waikiki and some construction. but. Wow. I am so stoked about this room. I can't even tell you. But I came to Hawaii without any sunscreen. So I have to go down to the nearest ABC store, which is like right next door to the hotel, to find some sunscreen that I can use for scuba diving. So we'll see what I find. <laughs> So the only sunscreen that I was able to find was sweat and water resistant for up to 80 minutes. So that's the best guess I've got. Granted, when we're diving, I don't think we'll be underwater for that much longer, I don't think. So it should work, hopefully. But stay tuned. I'm not quite entirely sure how much I'm gonna be able to film over the course of the next two days. We'll see, but we'll go from there, all right. So with scuba diving, I wasn't able to film a whole lot, mainly because we were going through a lot of exercises, but this is a few of the pictures I did catch. Three days later. All right guys, so I'm on my way right now to Waikiki Beach to run a surfboard because it's like one of my big bucket list items to surf Waikiki. So here we go. So I was able to rent a surfboard for two hours for $25, which really wasn't that bad. So the first hour I was actually kind of struggling trying to figure out and read the swells. It took me a second because I was used to Southern California waves, but after figuring out what it was I was supposed to be doing, I think it made a little bit more sense. I did have to paddle with the GoPro a little bit, but it turned out okay. Come up with 
right over here. And he said hello, and he said, Come on, how do you feel like to me, that is the highlight of my freaking day. It's not so much how many waves I've caught. It's that I saw a little off to the side.